Omega Engineering presents five women in engineering you should know about in no particular order because they're all awesome. Number one, Edith Clark. Edith Clark shattered many glass ceilings in the engineering world during her lifetime. She was the first woman to graduate with a master's in electrical engineering from MIT. She was the first woman to be professionally employed as an engineer in the United States, and she was the first female professor of electrical engineering in the United States. Clark is also widely known for inventing the Clark Calculator, a device that helps solve mathematical problems relating to electricity. Number two, Catherine Burr Blodgett. By the time Catherine Burr Blodgett became the first woman to receive a PhD in physics from Cambridge University, she was already the first woman hired by General Electric's research lab back in 1918. As a physicist and chemist working in the field of molecular engineering, Catherine advanced glass lens technology and helped revolutionize everything from glasses to telescopes to cameras. Number three. Margaret Hamilton. One of the very first computer software programmers, Margaret Hamilton is credited with actually coining the term software engineering to describe her work at MIT's Instrumentation Laboratory. After leaving her job as a high school math teacher, Margaret joined MIT to work on software to predict the weather. Then, in 1961, she joined the Lincoln Laboratory at MIT, working on the very first U.S. air defense system. This led Margaret to join the MIT Instrumentation Lab, where she led a team that developed the in-flight software for the Apollo space program. In 2016, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama, the highest civilian honor in the United States. Number four, Ellen Ochoa. In 1993, Ellen Ochoa became the first Hispanic woman to reach space. During her impressive career with NASA, Dr. Ochoa has served as Director of Flight Crew Operations, Deputy Center Director, Director of the Johnson Space Center, and has been a crew member on four space missions, clocking over a thousand hours in space, earning NASA's highest honor, the Distinguished Service Medal. And not only that, as an inventor, she co-developed three patents for improving the image quality of optical equipment, allowing us to see further into space than ever before. And rounding out our list, how could we not include our founder, Betty Hollander? Omega Engineering was founded by a driven, self-starting woman named Betty Hollander back in 1962. Betty started engineering thermocouples out of her own home while at the same time raising four children. At a time when women faced pervasive discrimination in many industries, Betty called upon her steady work ethic and sharp business acumen to grow Omega from a small company focused on manufacturing a single line of thermocouples to a globally recognized leader in the world of process measurement and control. So today and every day, let's celebrate all those pioneering women in engineering, past, present, and future. 